G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Look what I've made. I have made a new silicon mold. Now this one is for uh, the Druzy pendants. Let me see if I can get you in a bit closer. Each one is a little bit different. They're kind of all teardrop shaped. Some are a little bit wider, some are narrower, longer, shorter, just a variety that I've made. And we are going to make, we'll try and make <laughs> some gorgeous druzy pendants out of this mold. So what I'm going to do is I've got these, um, I got these on Amazon, Nick Pro Chameleon Powders. So that's them. There's eight in a pack. Let's have a little look at them, hey? So there's this one. Green, gold, blue. like the sound of that. Red, blue, purple. Purple, red, green. And you can see they, they've got this color shift in them. I only need six because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Green, oh, gold, green, blue. So I need to choose my favorites. Blue, purple, red. Out of the, well, probably go with that one. Have to, have to cut down here. Red, green. Hmm, I think that one, the reddish one. Unless there's something else hidden in the box here that I prefer. Red, orange, yellow. That sounds nice. And the lucky last. Oh, it's a blue one. Blue, green. How does that compare to that one? Okay, this one's more purple. All right, so let's do these ones, shall we? These colours, I think, will be nice. Yeah, why not? These two, I'll put these aside for another time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dust each little cavity with a different little pigment. So that's top. Oh, okay. They've all, <laughs> they've all got a little seal on top of them. Let's use a toothpick just to break that. I'll do one in front of the camera and then I will do the rest. This is probably going to take a little while. All right, so be careful when you're opening these. Don't open them too close to your mould like I'm doing because then you might get them sprayed everywhere. So this one is red, orange, yellow. So just use a soft makeup brush if you've got one. Um, something with a soft brush and don't put too much on there. Okay, you just want a little bit I just tapped it all off. All right, so initially I was just going to do the the sides, but I think I'll just do the whole thing Oh, Look at that it's looking really pretty and um, and then I'm just going to fill them up with black resin because you get these beautiful color shifting look with black um, and I do want to do like a red one and a blue one and a green one and a purple one but just for the sake of my first video oh my gosh that looks amazing already just for the sake of the first video I'm just going to do them all in black because you know mixing up a tiny bit like one ounce of each color it's going to be a little bit of a pain oh my gosh Oh, I'm going to have to show you this. This looks amazing. It's got, the mold's got a very, very smooth, shiny edge. I molded these from real stones. So, I sourced really good quality stones with druzies in them. And hopefully that will pay off and I'll have a really pretty final resin piece it's going to make sure i've got everywhere and don't make sure that you haven't got too much in there hey eh? because it's just going to overflow right so that's that one 
That looks amazing. Come down, come, come, come and have a look. Come and have a look. Come down. Look at that. How amazing does that look? I don't know if you can pick up what I'm seeing. It just looks gorgeous. <gasps> wow. I hope it looks that good when I unmold it. So you can see sort of reds and oranges and things. So that's it there. Oh, my lid's not on properly. Um, red, orange, yellow. Okay, so I'm going to put you on hold. I'm going to do the others. Um, otherwise, the video is going to be way too long. And I'll mix up my black resin and then I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. mixed up my resin I'm just using the platinum 360 plus because it's a nice thin resin and uh, it sets up pretty quickly and I've got this black pigment paste by 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 solid solutions I bought this like a couple of years ago before I really knew much about pigment paste but I think it's just fine it's just a black pigment paste nothing special Swipe off my stick, pop some in there. I want to make it nice and opaque, so there we go, that should do. And again, I wasn't sure how much resin I was going to need. I was looking at them and saying, okay, so is that going to take 30 grams, like an ounce? So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 180 grams seemed a bit much. So anyway, I made up 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B. And I've got 150 grams. Uh, what's that? Five ounces. You basically just divide it by three, 30, <laughs> give you five ounces. Um, and then I thought if I've got any black left, um, I may do one of my little hearts, my puffy hearts. So if that's just sitting there. I've cleaned that just in case I've got some black left. Um, I can quickly dust one of those. So <clears throat> I've got one, three of them look quite blue, don't they? But this one, the first word is green. The first word here is blue and the first word, word on this one's purple. So um, I don't know. They all look like shades of blue at the moment. So um, actually I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into a little paper cup. I think that would be much easier to handle, wouldn't it? Because then I can I can pinch it. So let's pour some in there, not all of it, just about a third of a cup there. Don't put too much in at once, otherwise it'll all drip down the sides. All right. It seems like this is going to do most of them. All right, here we go. So pretty basic, just pouring it in. Try and pour in one spot and let the resin just self-level rather than you know going all over the place because you've got more chance of getting air that way as well bubbles so just try to pour in one spot and the resin will creep up and over all those little druzies little crystals oh my gosh I think I've made up way too much black um, you know, it, it always looks more, doesn't it? You always think you're going to need more. But then that's why I thought I'll just get my other little mould, just in case. <laughs> it 
So I'm taking them right up the top so that they're doming because as resin, resin, as resin dries, it shrinks away from the sides and you get that little lip. So try and fill them as much as you can so that they're actually doming. There's a little curve over the top rather than a little dent, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. All right, let's put a little bit more black in here. Oh gosh, look at all of that still. Oh, I've got enough to make another video. All right, here we go. Now I do have some glue on bales somewhere. I haven't actually unpacked them yet. Um, I'm going to have to go and find them, aren't I? I'm going to have to go through some boxes up in the shed, up in the man shed, and see if I can find my stick-on bales. I mean, you could drill a hole in the top of each one and thread your little um, loop through it for your, for your chain, but I, I don't really want to drill into them, so this, the glue-on bales are perfect for this sort of thing as long as they as long as they fit nicely like you don't want to have a round bale because this has got a point so you kind of need a bale that's got the point on the end all right let me just give them a you don't even you actually don't even need to torch them because this is the back and you've got a very high chance of melting your silicone with the flame so um, you can just give them a, a spray with some alcohol. I use this isopropyl. It's 100% alcohol and I just put it into this little bottle because it's got a, a much smaller little nozzle on it. You can just do that. Alrighty, um, now I've got a lot of black left. I'm just going to pop some in there just so it's not so deep. Half in there, half in there. And, um, oh gosh, I guess I can just do it now, can't I? I put the colours next to them so that we could see which is which. Let's do this one. I've washed my brush and everything, put it away. All right, here we go. Let's do what, this one. I was actually thinking about doing all the different colours in one. But I'm in a bit of a hurry now because I don't want my black resin going off. I don't have a very long work time with it. Oh, it just looks so gorgeous and shiny. Look at that. It just looks amazing. I do like the blues, so I'm choosing the bluey colour for this one. Make sure you go up the sides. So this little pendant, if you haven't seen my puffy heart, um, it's already got the little loop there, so it's really easy just to tie a piece of leather or a chain onto it. Uh, this one's red, blue, purple. Let's do this one. Let's clean up my brush onto some paper towel here. So these will make gorgeous little giveaways. For those of you that have received little gifts in your orders, um, it's just like if I do make some of these things and, you know, someone, I'm not saying that, you know, I, well, <laughs> the people that order like more, you know, if someone spends a couple of hundred dollars, then, you know, I'm going to pop in a little thank you gift for them. Not that I don't appreciate everyone's sales, orders. But um, if I have to choose, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? But if I have to choose, and I've only got a few gifts, and also my repeat customers, of course. Thank you so much. Okay, there's that one. But yeah, these I'll just pop in as little gifts every now and then. All right, so that's that one done. Now, um, I'm just going to... Oh no, my it's, it's all right. I was thinking it was going to get too hot, but it, 
it seems all right actually now these other two let's use these two um, that we, we didn't use in here oh gosh now I have to open them oh gosh hang on I've got to take my gloves off I wasn't planning on doing this was I all right what I did was I kind of went underneath the plastic and lifted it that way gently okay so that's that one I'll leave this little bottle above it so we know which one it is okay that way we've used them all all eight colors makes sense doesn't it this is kind of like an orangish one it's a little bit lighter than that other red one that I've just done these little um, pendant hearts little puffy hearts they're really good for pea trees like if you're doing the pea trees because you get nice droppage in them and because they've got the curved edge you get like a looks like a little circus tent curved look which is really cute okay so that one is red green put that there and then this one is blue purple red oh sorry i've already opened that one that's right because i wanted to see what the difference between that one and that one was so i already opened it i haven't used it yet it's very blue they go on really nice and smoothly i'll see if i can if i remember i'll see if i can go back and look in my amazon orders and find the link to these particular chameleon powders if they work out nicely get around there the resin should like take all the powder off when you peel the resin out but if it doesn't you can just wash your mold in some warm soapy water just don't rub and scratch your mold that's all gotta be careful all right so that's done let me put my glove back on this one's really pretty this one I can I can really see the gold in that when I'm looking at it it's really pretty <sighs> bit of a blow all right here we go and again we'll just let that level out to where it wants to go I just stop there and let it flow in on its own I'll come back and top it up in a minute I just don't want to overflow my little nib my little nib on top there gosh this makes a lot I didn't think I would use oh gosh <laughs> I didn't think I had so much black left over oh well you're getting a two for one here is this one actually in the screen I don't know are we actually yes we are just last one and the last little bit of black well I'll just I'll just waste it for now I don't I don't have time to do anything else with it at the moment let's top these up Let that run in, in you go, nearly there, all right, well sorry if that was a bit of a long video, some people might appreciate it, some people think, oh my god, it's way too long, but you know, these things happen, you make too much black and you don't want to waste it, okay, there we go, so that's all of that done. And I'm not going to torture, I'm just going to give it a bit of a spritz, a bit of a spritz. And there we go. Done. All right. I will see you guys. I'll probably wait for the morning till the light's a bit better. And uh, I'll see you then for the unmolding. I hope they turn out really pretty. Right, so it's the next day. These are all set up. And let's start with this now I should try and do it so that we remember which colors which shouldn't we so all right I'll see if I can start with this little guy here see if I can do this without interrupting 
which one it is. All right. Are we ready? Let's have a little look. Ooh, look how sparkly it is. I can focus on it. Oh, look at that. I'm going to have trouble focusing now because it's looking at the things at the back. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's really pretty. I wasn't sure what it was going to do. Look at the sides. So nice. I don't know how I'm going to focus it. Oh, gosh, all right. I'll do my best. Right, next one. This is the blue-green. Oh, it's really sparkly too. Oh, I can see the green. Yep, I can see the green when I tilt it that way. But it gives you an idea of what that druzy crystal looks like now that you can see it. Out of the mould. Oh, so pretty. <clears throat> and this one is purple red. Green. <laughs> purple red green. Here we go. I can see the purple. Hope it's focusing for you. So pretty. This one's got a slightly different look to the interior. And it's tricky getting them out like this without holding the, the mould up. This one is gold, green, blue. Is that one? And then this one is red, blue, purple. Have you got a favorite so far? I wonder if I put something behind it. Mm, I don't really have anything except a little tiny canvas. Maybe that would work. I've got a little tiny canvas. Maybe that'll work better. I don't know. Probably not, because <laughs> I'm blocking the light. <laughs> oh dear, the joys of videoing. Now, last one is green, blue, green, gold, blue, green, gold, blue. Right, have you got a favourite? Here we go. I do like that one. Maybe that's my favourite. I like this one too, this one that throws a bit of purple both really pretty all right let's get on to these ones now these two we've seen the colors already and those two are the two new ones so let's have a little look at our puffy hearts here we go they're just so gorgeous aren't they they're just so puffy and sweet they come out of the mold really easily Nice and sparkly. You can see the different colours there, blues and greens. And what was this one? I don't even remember what we used on these two bottom ones. Considering you, you know, you're dusting on a, a powder, when they come out, they are so super smooth and shiny. Right, so these two are the new ones. <clears throat> this one is the red green. Let's have a look at that one. Where's the green? Oh, yep, yep, there's the green. You probably can't, you might not be able to see it in this light actually. I don't know what you can see in this light. I can see the green down here. And then you tilt it and you get the reddish pinkish color and then the last one was blue purple red 
molds have cleaned up really nicely it's just the the top that I need to go over with the baby wipe there we go oh gosh that's purple <laughs> purple people eater so pretty alrighty now I'm going to move these out of the way because I want to see if I can put some little chains on them right just put you back overhead so you can see what I'm doing so I've got some E6000 glue which is really good for jewelry and I managed to go up and find some of these little stick-on bales now I don't know if you can see but if you look at the back the little loop is sticks out further so that you, you can't just when you're drying them you can't just do that you have to hang them over something um, like that you just need to sort of whoops <laughs> you need to hang it over the edge like that so that you can lie it flat okay otherwise if you're lying it like that it's not lying flat but right and it's one should we try it oh actually let's do this one I do like this one. Oh, I don't know I like them all let's let's try this one first try not to get glue everywhere let's put a little blob there I had to make another hole in my glue now the top gets dried <laughs> I had to make another hole so there's just a little blob there all right now let's see um, I think they're all all that sort of pointy shape oh there's one round one I thought I saw one see it if, if you've got a round one like that and you try to put it like on a point depending on how big your point is you'll be able to see the, the round edges sticking out so if you've got a point like that it's best to use one that's tapered but anyway let's see if it fits hey stick that there make sure that it's straight like so so the bit that you put the glue on has got a little bit of a, a dent a little hole for the glue to sit in I mean you can still see the sides a tiny bit but I don't think that's going to matter so um, I'm just going to just going to hang that over the top like that just while it dries hopefully you can still see yep right so that's that uh, I won't do them all because I want to Just pop one of these on here see it's already ready to go actually I've got um I've got leather strips of leather that um, I like to put on those but you could do that that's all ready to go already um, let's do another one shall we let's do this one Put another little bale on it just for fun a little blob try not to put too much on otherwise it'll just ooze out you do need a decent amount there see that one's wider so you can't see the side of the bale there push it down if you've got any glue that oozes out you can just wipe it off oops Let's clean up the back nice little press and hang it over the edge so there you go that's that's what they look like what do you think <laughs> that was fun I enjoyed that all right I'm gonna put all my little jars back 
and uh, clean up and I will see you for the next video. Now I definitely want to try my little mold again and what I want to do I think next time is just like I said earlier is just paint the sides with the um, the chameleon powder and then I'm not sure what I want to do with the center yet um, just so that we get like two different colors so I want the the center to be different to the sides so that's I'm gonna to have to have a think about what to do but um, feel free to leave me a little comment down below on what you think I could do with the center whether I just um, leave it clear or just put a little bit of sparkle in the clear so that you get the blue on the outside and then the clear in the middle or the colors on the outside and then like just uh, maybe like a black alcohol ink in the center just so it's a different color but still shimmery but anyway you have a think about it let me know what you suggest i'd love to hear from you all right thanks again for watching and um actually i should just put one of these on shouldn't i so that you can see what the finished look's going to do i just got these little ball chains from amazon i'll just thread that through whoops <laughs> slippery little sucker I don't want to put too much pressure on it because I don't want it to fall off but um, that's basically what it's going to look like pretty hey <laughs> are we focusing hope so there we go it's so pretty let me know which colour is your favourite and what I should do with the centres next time. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. I better go. <laughs> Love you all. Take care. Bye for now. I thought I would just come back and show you what these look like without, you know, all the um, LED lights on them. Because you can see the colour change. I think more easily I wasn't quite sure what you could see but you yeah, have a look at this one you can see the gold to the blue and then the you know the green to the red so you can kind of see them a little bit better I think without having the bright lights on them and you can see how sparkly that druzy center is So pretty, aren't they? Just love them. I love how sparkly they are. Whoops. There you go. Yep, just wanted to show you the difference.